Hey folks, Zach here, and I have a little bit of time yet tonight before I go to bed. Um, so I figured I'd throw a quick video up to answer a question that I had uh, sent to me via a little message in my uh, in my YouTube mailbox. A gentleman had asked me about for, uh, had me, had asked me for some tips on uh, bridal shows, and uh, he's got one coming up this November. Or, yeah, this next month, November. So uh, mm -hmm. he's wondering if I could point him in the right direction on some things or something. So, um, first off, disclaimer, I'm not an expert on bridal shows, I've only done one, but um, it went really well, it went pretty, f real flawless actually, so um, this is my take on it, um, and what I suggest. First thing, get a banner, if you don't have a banner made up already, get a banner, they're kind of nice, there's, there's your name, there's your logo, you know, there's your website in big script or whatever, if you got a website, um, get a damn website made up. If you don't have a website made up and you're going to a bridal show, get a website made up. That's the big key right there as far as I'm concerned. After that bridal show, my website got a lot of hits. I like insane amount of hits. Like the neighborhood bicycle freaking kind of hits. If you know what I'm talking about. It was crazy. So, and actually in the last six days, I've booked five weddings. So, it worked. Did something right there. Especially when you consider that me and John shared a booth and we have two different companies. John's booked numerous weddings from that also. He's even booked a wedding, uh, including the live uh, live band option that he offers. So that's a pretty high dollar wedding that he booked because of that bridal show. And that was, we were the only uh, booth, DJ booth there, that had the ability to book live music um, slash DJ, you know, if, if that's something that they wanted. So that was, that was really cool. Um, so, first off, get a banner. Second off, print off extra business cards. If you do not, if you're running on business cards before you go to the show, make sure you have plenty. I was down, I came out there with like 70 or 80 business cards and I left with like five. It was, you know, it was crazy. They were throwing out cards like crazy. Um, John, you know, like I said, we shared a booth, so we'd give the person both our cards. Um, because we kind of, feed, we throw work back and forth to each other. We work really, really close. I mean, we might as well, in a way, might as well be the same company, but we're not. Um, he does his own thing, and I do my own thing. My own thing. He has a different name. I have, you know, I have my own name. So, but uh, business cards, make sure you got plenty of those. Uh, another thing you could do, I didn't do it. It was asked a few times, but um, here's one right here. I grabbed a couple of them from the other DJs. Here's AV Live. Um, Flyers. You could have flyers printed up. I didn't, I didn't look into them. Here's the back. This uh, DJ karaoke. Um, but they're kind of neat. This guy here, AV Live, they offer a limo. They're paired up with a limo company um, and a photography company. So it's kind of like a three-in-one type of deal uh, flyer here. But um, you could look into getting a flyer made up. It's not a necessity. I People ask, you know, do you got any flyers you can hand out or anything? And I tell them, well, here's my card. And uh, down below is the website uh, address, and go on the website, and whatever you know, whatever questions you may have, if you're just browsing around, um, you'll be answered on the website. There's a price breakdown on there. There's pictures from past uh, gigs on there, and, and set up pictures on there, and stuff like that. So you can you know see what you know I'm all about and, and whatnot, and you know go from there. If you're interested, there's a contact page. You can contact me. You can give me a call. Whatever you want to do. Um, otherwise, you try to of course sell it to them right there then on the spot and you say well here's here's my card blah blah, blah website thing but if you have a, any questions right now that you can think of I have plenty of time to answer them you know interact talk to these people um, that's what it's about is you're there to uh, it's, it's advertising is all it is but you're there you're, you're in the flesh you're meeting people one-on-one -on -one for the first time generally and uh, so show a good impression but but talk to them, you know. Don't be overbearing salesmen and trying and, and, and trying to kill for the sale, because you're more than likely not going to book on the spot. You're not going to have people coming out with their checkbooks, writing out checks. They're there, at least the one I, I did here. People were there um, to, to to just kind of hear everyone's spiel on their services. There were four other DJ services besides us at the show, and um, as far as I know, no other DJ booked. Um, that day either, but uh, after after that, you know, the week after is when you're going to be following with with insane phone calls and and a lot of hits on your website and everything else. So that that's kind of what it is. They 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 take it all in, 
do the research and then go from there. So um, that's why I say make sure you got a website up. You know, have a nice clean booth. That's the next point. Have a nice presentable clean booth. Now here, here's a picture of the, what our booth looked like. You can see that uh, half truss, two uh, two views pointing down, two intimidators on the outside, the view three in the middle pointing up on the ceiling. We were the only ones that had um, a working light show, meaning that I actually had the DMX controller hooked into everything, and I was running them all on a chase chase sequence. It's kind of neat. Uh, people, you know, it, it was it was subtle enough. It wasn't you know shining in anyone's face. But when they looked at it, they're like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, especially with the new LED effects. In the in this area, the only people that have any LED effects are me and my buddy John. That's it. And I only have one, which is the View 3, and he only has two of them, which is the View 2, is two of them. There are DJs that were coming by asking us questions about the about the, the views and everything else, and what we thought of LEDs, because around here, there, it's not, it hasn't taken off yet. Unfortunately, now it probably is going to, which is cool, you know, but everyone else buys some cool stuff, too. But, um, uh, yeah, we, you don't have to have a big setup like that. No one else really had a bigger, or, or, or no one else had a, a setup quite as full as that. In the other corner, we had the QSC sub with a pulled uh, SRM450 Mackie speaker, and we had those hooked into another laptop, which had a slideshow running on it. Um, with sound, so we had uh, like 20 music tracks looped and just kind of played them on low volume. So when you walked by, you could hear a little bit of music. Um, we also had on the corner of the table a promo video set up. I, had, I made two promo videos. One was more of a slideshow, and uh, the other one was what I called the action video. That was the live footage, da people dancing, set to music, you know, that type of thing. So um, it's another thing you can look into is, is making up a promo video. If you guys are making these videos on YouTube, more than likely you have a video editing software or something on your computer you can use and you can throw together if you've got any gig footage throw together a promotional video uh... something you know short and to the point you know i, I don't know the, the, something similar to what i got worked re, re, would work real nice i think the one that i posted up on youtube a little bit ago that's what we used um... for for the bridal show so um... let's see another thing that uh, that i thought was kind of neat and it wasn't my idea i'm not going to take credit for it um, we had a third guy there with that helped us out for a little while. He's a marketing guy, a real good salesman. Um, he came up with the idea of, of having candy. He had a bowl of candy there, which is kind of stupid, if you, you know, maybe because it's like, well, we're not selling candy. But people walk by, and you have they're eating wedding cake and all this crap, all this wedding food. Well, they go by um, your booth, and it's uh, it's like a convers conversation starter. They see the stuff there. They make eye contact with you or the table. Say, "Hey, grab a piece of candy." It's it's it's, it's a way for you to initiate the person that's walking by, initiate a conversation with them. You know, get them to stop at your booth. Now, sales. You know, don't take this as being the used car salesman from hell. You know, you don't have to sit there and sell them the product right then and there. But then, you know, maybe you're going to spark their interest with because there's so many gazers that walk by. People are kind of have tunnel vision at these things because there's so much to take in at, at, at these shows. So if you have something that you can just kind of like grab their attention really quick with, maybe you can get them to stick with you and, and, and talk to you about, and you can talk to them about your services. So, um, and I thought that was a cool idea, and it worked pretty well. People really responded well to that because it was something other than wedding cake and, and uh, other stuff. So, um, try to. Th it doesn't necessarily have to be candy, but something something along those lines that you can just give away. And uh, you know, another thing you could do too is uh, advertise. Uh, you put you put everyone have them fill out these little slips of paper and have them put their name in and you know you draw one name at the end of the show for a you know fifty dollars off a, a you know a DJ package or something like that some something like that you know get them to stop by your booth something something that they, that they can take notice of um, otherwise yeah I mean it's it's a lot of crowd interaction or people interaction I should say and uh, just be friendly dress nice a nice shirt a tie dress pants wear a smile. I mean, and stand up. Don't be sitting in. If they have chairs for you, if the people that put this to the show together, they have chairs for you at the booth, don't sit in them. When people are walking by and you're talking to people, you want to be at the same eye level with them. You don't be sitting down. It's very unprofessional. Standing sucks if you're doing it for a long time, but that's the way it is. It's only one day out of the year probably, so deal with it. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope this helped you out. So I'm out of 10 minutes. We'll see you later.